Hello, I'm Tracy Jessup, and I want to tell you about an organization that is making a phenomenal impact on the lives of students at Gardner-Webb University. It's an organization that has the sole purpose of helping further the efforts of God's kingdom at home and abroad. The Christian Service Organization exists to provide scholarship assistance to students preparing for full-time Christian vocational ministry. In 1971, the Christian Service Organization began through the efforts of a teacher and the Gardner-Webb campus minister. A few years prior to that, Gardner-Webb began to focus strongly on ministerial education. For years, Gardner-Webb had become known throughout the country for its outstanding athletic teams and players. Dr. Thurman Lewis and Buddy Freeman reasoned that if Gardner-Webb could raise money for athletic scholarships, why couldn't an organization be started to give scholarships to help people God is calling into ministry? So, they began the Christian Service Organization for that purpose. We knew of some students who did not have groceries, the married students. Uh, we knew of ministerial students who didn't even have a coat to wear on preaching uh, assignments. We had to go buy them a coat. And so we began to discuss what we could do, and we didn't have a lot of money ourselves. And we began to meet on Thursday mornings uh, to pray about it and ask God what could we do. And so as we began to pray, God laid it on our hearts that there would be Christian people out there that would give money to help ministerial students. And we shared it with Dr. Poston, the president at that time, and uh, he asked us to share it with the Board of Trustees, and they approved it. And so then we just started asking people for $100 a year. All Christian Service Organization members contribute annually to an endowment, and those earnings are used to assist Gardner-Webb students who are preparing for the Christian ministry. This means that the earnings from these gifts will allow the Christian Service Organization to help more students annually for years to come. During the 1970s, God was leading the Gardner-Webb administration, faculty, campus minister, and others to build one of the largest departments of religious studies to be found among any of the Baptist colleges. The number of students needed scholarships and financial assistance always exceeded the funds available. Today, although the Christian Service Organization is able to help many more students than in years past, the need is still great to help those following God's call into the ministry. I believe that uh, anybody called by God ought to have an opportunity to get education. And so the Christian Service Organization gives those students that opportunity where they might not be able to anywhere else. I think uh, giving to CSO is probably a better investment than the best mutual fund uh, on the market today. Now, when I was growing up, now, I wanted to be a missionary. I felt that I had been called to be a missionary. Well, that didn't happen, but now maybe I can help someone else. If you want a reinforcement of your Christian beliefs in the worth of humanity and in the calling of young people to some kind of ministry for the Lord, then you need to belong to Christian Service Organization. I think the main thing is that the Lord expects us to give back some of the blessings and some of the things that we have. And I think it would be selfish not to give to something like this. And um, it, it just enlarges your scope of uh, ministry and of missions. The Christian Service Organization members carefully interview each person recommended for a scholarship. This allows the members to have a hands-on approach to offering the scholarships to students. It also gives the members an opportunity to learn about each student and the calling that God has placed on their hearts. We like to find out uh, a little bit about them, about their conversion experience, about their call to ministry. and. Uh, also, we have some requirements that we ask of them. All the students have to have at least a 2.5 grade point average. Um, we ask them to come to the dinners. And, um, you know, it's just, that's an important time, and that's one of the first steps 
and us getting to know a student so that we can have that relationship with them. You come to know the student on a very personal basis and the beauty of it is that most of them completely open themselves up to you where they are in their lives, where they have been from a religious standpoint and where they're going. So it's a very personal sort of thing and I love it. Yeah, when you hear some of the stories of these kids that come in, it's really amazing some of the ways that God has brought them really to this point in their life and also some of the tremendous steps of faith that they're taking. Some of these kids are answering God's call with basically no support at home, no support you know in any other places and sometimes even from antagonism at home you know that kind of thing and uh, a lot of you know maybe financial barriers that kind of stuff they're taking great leaps of faith they really are in many ways I always go into those interviews with a prayer that somehow some way my, my heart will be open completely to those young people and making a fair judgment of how much help they need and to what extent we should go to help them uh, many of them do not have Christian families and sometimes they are the first ones in their family that steps out to go into a ministry and a lot of times they don't have a lot of support. When we see these students uh, you can't help but be moved and you become more and more sold on what this organization is all about. In every interview I've been in, every person who is interviewed at some point has said to that student, if I can be of any help at you while you're here at Gardner Webb, just feel free to call. And so that gives them a good basis, not only that uh, Gardner Webb's a good place and good people surround it, but I think it's also saying, you know, we're with you in your ministry and we're going to do everything we can to help you prepare for that ministry. CSA is very important for students, especially like myself, who, uh, when I came to Gardner Webb, was in desperate need for financial help, um, had a family, uh, and uh, I applied really for just about every kind of financial aid I could get. But CSO was especially helpful to us because uh, I knew that that money was coming uh, from folks who were really interested in what uh, direction God was leading me into. In in my case, uh, my wife and I was married. Uh, when we uh, arrived and uh, we had uh, left our home uh, and everything, our jobs, and I just came on faith that God would provide. And uh, CSO was one of those opportunities that, uh, that helped provide scholarship funds to, uh, to meet my, my needs. Each year, the Christian Service Organization hosts scholarship banquets to recognize members and scholarship recipients. The membership of this organization has continued to grow throughout the years, and today it is so large that meetings must be held in the Paul Porter Arena on the Gardner Webb campus. And now, three times per year, these banquets are held giving members and students alike an opportunity to get to spend time together over a meal while sharing testimonies, listening to music, and hearing reports from the Christian Service Organization Board of Directors. The students do an extremely good job of expressing their gratitude to the donors. And uh, fortunately, they seat us in such a way that uh, we have access to a student at our table. And they introduce themselves, tell us about themselves, and personally express their gratitude. And it's just a wonderful thing to hear the students talk about uh, their appreciation for our assistance. It was especially um, meaningful to meet the people who donated the money. It made it tangible. It made their sacrifice for my education uh, real as opposed to some unnamed benefactor off somewhere that you would never see. It also made me feel special because I could see their interest in my ministry and their willingness to follow me not only through Gardner Webb but through seminary and then into my ministry uh, placement when I was serving the local church for 12 years. I still recall several times sitting down with with different donors and being able to build relationships that have really lasted until now and uh, those kinds of relationships are, are so important to students not just receiving the financial aid but realizing that folks are praying for you and, 
and uh, really encouraging you to, uh, to do your very best and, and to give God the glory, like they're doing through their giving. I've had a good relationship with the, the donors and the members of CSO. They're so eager to help students, so eager to help students. And they really want to get to know students. They don't want to be an anonymous gift. They want to, they want to see what their money's going for. Not all of these donors are wealthy people who've got it just running out. And so some of them really stretch because they believe in CSO and they believe in the future of the church. The Christian Service Organization is designed to help students who are choosing to follow God's call. For some, it may be a church leadership position, an international missionary, or a Christian educator. And no, not all students are majoring in religious studies or studying in the Gardner-Webb School of Divinity, but all students are preparing for full-time Christian vocational ministry. One of the first scholarships that was given in CSO uh, was given to a student from Brazil. That student's now on our faculty at the School of Divinity. Sofia gomez Steibel was one of the first recipients. Uh, so you don't know where the person who you are funding for theological education, where they may end up. When there's a missionary doctor out in the bush country of Africa operating on someone, we're standing there with him because we helped him get his education, we prayed for him. Uh, when there's a college professor uh, teaching the Bible in a Christian school, we're standing in that classroom with them. When there's a preacher in the pulpit, we're standing there with him. When there's a youth minister taking kids on trips and leading them to Christ, we're there with them. It's, it's an eternal thing. And uh, I think this is why people like to, be in, uh, like to be a part of this. They see it as a Christian ministry. Many of the students and the donors develop relationships where when they finish Gardner Webb and go on the seminary and go to the churches or mission fields, years later, they're still in touch with each other. Uh, they're, the donors are doing more than giving. They're praying for these students and they're, you know, keeping up with them. And, and that's a wonderful relationship. Through the Christian Service Organization, you can help students prepare for ministry. For as little as $100 per year, you can become a member and assist students in need. Other ways that they can get involved is get their church involved. I know a lot of churches may have ministerial students at Gardner Webb. And it's a wonderful way for a church to support not only their student, but others. A good many Sunday school classes like projects out beyond the church as well as uh, supporting the church. and. Our Sunday school class had various projects, but when they learned of the CSO, that became their main project. We have now uh, given over $11,000 to the CSO. I would encourage any group or individual that was considering uh, funding a scholarship through the Christian Service Organization to do that. Uh, it's a way to reach directly to students to identify with those students and to follow those students as they develop into the minister that God's created them to be. It strikes me as uh, most significant that the Lord leads this work and it is an opportunity for us to play a part in His plans for these young people. And the awesome thing is they realize it's his plan and not just theirs. That's what is so wonderful about CSO, that you get to be involved in the lives of these students and that you feel that somehow you have a little part in their ministry and in their lives so that uh, when they're out on a mission field or they're out preaching or they're out serving as ministers of youth or education, you can look at that person and say, I have invested in that person and I'm proud of them. You never know how um, a, one single donation could uh, change the destiny, really, of, a, of an entire community. Uh, I think about where I'm at right now. I wouldn't, wouldn't have had the opportunity, I don't think, to be where I'm at right now had I not been able to go through the school here. And of course, those opportunities were afforded to me by those scholarships that were made available. To find out more about how you can become part of the Christian Service Organization, call 704-406-4256 or 704-406-4101.